All right, now this is a real fun way of uh, creating some really cool chord voicings, and it's actually a very simple concept. Let me just go ahead and play these voicings that I have here. Okay, so let me just play through them first of all. Oop, let me mute this. It sounds kind of cool, but. So let me play through that again. Try and take a look and see what it is that I'm doing. There's a constant structure here. So what I'm thinking is, let's just focus on the left hand. I have a chordal built on a root, built on a flat at third, natural third, flat six, moving down chromatically, down to the 11. Okay. And the rhythm of this, let's go ahead, go ahead and start getting the rhythm together. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can hold that out if you want. Two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. Again. Oops, sorry. Two, three, four. So it's that one and two and three and four and three. Three, four, one, two. Now, what I have written here and what I like to play is sometimes two different things. Let me show you what I have written. One. So it's the doing it on the end of one, so one and two and three and four and one. Sorry, one, two, one, two. one. All right, so that one and uh, uh, uh. I'm actually going to end up changing it because I think I like it better on. Oops, I stopped this. Let me. I think I. Uh, There we go. Two and three, four, one, two and three. Yeah, then we're gonna do that. Do it on the two. So it'll be one, two, uh, 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 uh. one, two, uh, uh. And now this brings up a good point of why I just did that. Because um, we should talk about that for a second. What I was doing is one and two and three and four and one. Uh, 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 uh. That's what I had written. But the thing is, it comes in so fast that I don't think it actually sounds all that funky anymore. I think it's nice to have that space in there. So listen to what happens when I add that space. Three. Actually, that's what it should be. You can hear that it's, it's nice to have that breathing space. Now you can see what's going on with the uh, what's going on with the um, with the voicings is that I'm shifting this voicing in the right hand, right? So rather than just playing the same chordal in the right hand, I'm doing this shift. So I'm saying, okay, well let me go up one, two, three half steps, right? So let me go up a minor third. Right? So I have my chordal voicing down here, and at a minor third higher than that bottom note, I create a different chordal voicing.